Hey there! Welcome back to the ECA Tech Channel. If you've ever found yourself about to download a new app or buy software, chances are you've scrolled through the reviews first. Reviews can be incredibly helpful, but they're not all created equal. So today we're going over five things you need to know about software and app reviews to make better decisions. Let's dive in! Let's start with a big one. Not all reviews are real. Sadly, fake reviews are a thing. Some companies pay for positive reviews or even create them with bots. On the flip side, competitors might post negative reviews to sabotage a product's reputation. It's important to keep this in mind when you're browsing through reviews. If something looks too good to be true, like an app with all 5 star ratings and no negative feedback, it's a red flag. Look for detailed, balanced reviews from verified users. Those tend to be more trustworthy. It's easy to be swayed by the star rating, 5 stars, 4 stars, 3 stars. But here's the thing, the star rating alone doesn't give you the full picture. A product might have a 4.8 star average, but if all the recent reviews are terrible, you'll want to take a closer look. Also, people rate differently. Some give 5 stars for a product that's pretty good, while others reserve 5 stars for something mind-blowing. So always dig deeper by reading the reviews, not just glancing at the stars. When reading reviews, look for patterns. If multiple people are praising the same feature or complaining about the same issue, there's a good chance it's true. For example, if 10 people mention that an app crashes often, it's probably a sign that it has stability issues. On the flip side, if users keep raving about great customer support, you can likely count on getting help when you need it. Consistency across multiple reviews tells you more than just a one-off comment. This one's important. Make sure to check the recent reviews. Software and apps are constantly being updated. A review from two years ago might not be relevant to the current version of the product. Maybe the app has improved, or maybe it's gotten worse. Recent reviews will give you a better sense of how the software is performing today. Most platforms let you sort by the latest reviews, so take advantage of that feature. Finally, always consider the context of the review. Ask yourself, does this person use the software or app in the same way you would? A bad review might come from someone who had unrealistic expectations or didn't use the software for its intended purpose. On the other hand, someone might love an app, but if their needs are very different from yours, their review might not be as helpful. Make sure to read reviews that align with how you plan to use the product. So there you have it! Five key things from ECA Tech to keep in mind when reading software and app reviews. Remember, not all reviews are real. Star ratings don't tell the full story, look for recurring themes, check recent reviews, and always think about the context. Reviews are a great tool, but knowing how to read them critically can save you from a lot of headaches.